Hey guys, going on? It's October EMP. I got an app for you for you here today. It is called Private Area, and it is from the iTunes App Store. It is 99 cents. Pretty cheap for what it does. A lot of these vault-type applications sometimes cost quite a bit of money. So I'm going to show you guys what this application is all about, how to use it, stuff like that. So here we go. We're right in. This is the every single time you open the app, whether or not it's in the multitasking bar or not, it's always going to bring you to this page. And you're just going to click right there, type in your password. Now I've made my password iPhone just for the video. And then once you've typed your password in, if it's correct, that green, it'll have a little green light by the password. And then you'll have these three options. You can either change your password, open the vault area, the private area, or you can uh, make a fake password. But we're going to open the area. And when you first come in here, you're going to be in the notes section open right here see has the note section is the first section right there and then you have photos contacts web video maps you can add all these different kinds of things into the application itself so first I'm just gonna go into photos and right now I have a folder with three different photos in there as you can see and to add a photo you're just gonna click on the plus button you can either import a ton of photos or multiple photos you could add um, a new camera or you could import a single photo at a time from your roll so that's what I'm going to do go over here and I click on your camera roll you have all your pictures say I want to save and there's no reason for me to but I'll save this background right here now as you can see it's right next to my folder it didn't go into the folder but if you wanted to you can click on that button up there where the green light is on now press OK now you can take that picture and drag it into the other folder it's as easy as that when you're all done you can press the green button and as you can see I tapped on the search by accident but if you wanted to look for a search uh, a specific photo within this area I could just go like this and search dog and it'll come up with a picture of the dogs so that's how um, that's how you add and search and make folders and stuff like that. There's also a 360 search that you can search through everything. Now, when I first download this application, it comes with a note inside of the note area that shows you how to use it. So, if I search how, this little how-to guide will come up, and it'll show you how to do everything that I'm showing you how to do right now. But that's it for the searching and the adding and stuff like that. I'll show you all the different sections. You have notes, photos, contacts. Now to, the different options that you have once you're in the contacts, you can add and you can either import from your iPhone or you can create a new contact. Now just so you guys know, once you import something, say you import from your photo album or you import from your address book or whatever it may be, that in what you import into your private area is still going to be in your contacts or in your photo album so if you just want it to be in your private area you're going to have to delete it from your photo album or your address book or your you know your video album or whatever it is you're going to have to delete it from that section if it was already there and saved there so just make sure you know that because if you have if you take 20 photos and you put all those photos in your private area and you took them with your normal camera and you never deleted them, they're still going to be in your camera roll. And if you don't want anybody to see them, you're going to be out of luck. So that's just make sure you do that before you know handing your phone off to somebody. So here we'll go to Maps, Add Maps. Now you have right here, you could come over here and, and go to a specific place and you could just save that GPS location. I don't really know what um what purpose this really serves, but I guess, you know, if you're traveling a lot or something along those lines, then maybe that would be nice for you. With videos up here, you could either import from the roll or create a new video, just like the just like the uh, photos. Oops. And come back down here, we'll go to web. Now from the web, you can either go to a specific address and you can save that address. You could capture a screenshot. You could save whatever the title is of the section. and It'll just save everything for you. So I'm just going to save whatever this is. I'll capture the screen. Screenshot was captured. Title bar. And then press save. 
and I, now I have everything that I need right inside here the screenshot oh it just took a picture um, of the of that screenshot here it comes now it's loading up for you but yeah that's it's sim as simple as that it's really an easy application to use once you are you know familiar with it is really easy to use it's not difficult at all and it's it's useful you, there's a lot of different things you can do with it especially if you're around a lot of people you're in school and you're the only person with an iPhone a lot of people always want to you know ask you to use your iPhone or see if I can use it see if I like it stuff like that you don't want people searching your whole thing and seeing all your private matters so this is a great application to have for that if you guys like it leave me a message uh, leave me a comment you can follow me on Twitter or send me an email I'll leave all the information at the end of the video, but that's it guys. Hope you liked the review and I'll talk to you later.